evening fellow youtubers I'm going to show you guys how to modify a kids power wheels uh, to run on an automotive car battery uh, most of the other batteries they die out really fast a car battery will run probably four or five hours maybe even six hours and then you just put it on a car charger and uh, you can charge it right back up tomorrow and be ready to go most kids don't run for four or five hours on the power wheels doesn't affect the motor or anything um, I had a leftover battery out of a Mercedes ML350. I stuck it in, and it seems to be working pretty good. Let me show you guys what we have here. We've got standard Power Wheels. This is the uh, sort of like the pickup truck model. And what I did is I cut the uh, brackets in the front so it could fit the, uh, the battery. Now, this is a big battery, so um, you guys can go with a smaller battery. And really, it's, it's very simple. All you got to do is take these terminals, the original terminals that are here, and just cut, cut them. And then you wrap them around the top of the, the battery terminal here. And you put a little bit, uh, you just spiral around maybe two, three times. And then the same on this terminal here. The white is the uh, positive and the black is the negative. And then you just put a, uh, a little uh, band clamp around there on both of them. And then what I did is I just put a, uh, you know, some little bit of clamps on here to lock the battery into place. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's fairly basic. And this will run four, five, sometimes six hours. Um, it, as my son here, he's a two-year-old. And it does give it a little bit more power. Um, so what I, what I did is I, uh, I put these, these screws in the back tires here um, because the power has a lot more extra traction. So I just took um, some, some drywall screws and I put them into the tires because they keep spinning out in the grass so fast. Uh, so these these little you can see the screws they're almost like little little knobbies now uh, The screws keep the tires from spinning around really fast and it gets a little bit more traction So uh, we'll give you guys a show and show you how it looks hop in there Bradley Go for a ride So you see he's moving around a little bit faster than normal and the battery does got a little bit more power and uh, we're out in the country so the standard power wheels batteries they don't last that long obviously you see we got a couple acres you put this car battery in here and that car battery will last all night sometimes it'll last four or five days it's been lasting you get, I get about six or seven days and then I throw it on the, the, the car charger the car battery charger and uh, it runs well, yeah, for, for another four or five days so you know, you get a couple hours out of the kid's uh, in the Power Wheels truck and uh, you can bring them back to life. So if you got a car battery that's ready to die out or you want to change it before winter, I'd recommend just saving it and uh, put it in your kid's Power Wheels battery. Uh, you know, swap out your, your uh, Power Wheels battery and put the old battery in on, on the, the trucks because even the, the, uh, the most worn out battery will still power the Power Wheels really well. So that's the uh, modification. You know, it doesn't uh, make the car go too fast for a toddler. My son's two years old, and uh, he'll drive around all night long and pick up stuff in his little pickup truck. So uh, just wanted to help you guys out there and avoid uh, you guys spending the 60 or $70 for a Power Wheels battery when you can go to Walmart, go buy a $50 car battery, get the Gold Series because it lasts for three years, and uh, if it dies between in three years, then you just take it back and get another one. So those are uh, my recommendations and how to modify uh, uh, kids' power wheels. There he goes.